Hello, and welcome to this presentation which explains and demonstrates how to create custom roles for deploying the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. The custom administrator and user roles are based on default roles within Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control, and you see how to create administrator and user accounts using these roles. Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control includes a large suite of default roles for users. For the purposes of managing the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance as a platform for infrastructure as a service, create three custom roles from default roles installed with Oracle Enterprise Manager. The three roles are the Cloud Administrator, EM underscore Cloud underscore Administrator, the Self Service Administrator, EM underscore SSA underscore Administrator, and the Self Service User, EM underscore SSA underscore User. Each of these roles is defined by a set of particular privileges. As you see in this presentation, you create a new custom role by effectively copying one of the roles provided by Oracle Enterprise Manager. You can modify these custom roles if you need to add or remove privileges in your enterprise, leaving the default roles intact. Use the custom role to create administrators or users for your enterprise. In this session, I'm logged in as Sysman, the Oracle Enterprise Manager default super user. From this point on, I will leave out the underscore mention, although the underscore separates the tokens in the role and user names in this demonstration. That goes for the EM and the ICD roles and users. To create and manage roles, navigate through the Setup menu to Security to Roles. The custom role I create is for a cloud administrator, so I want to create a new role like the EM Cloud Administrator role. Click the radio button in the Select column next to EM Cloud Administrator. Then click Create Like to start the process. On the Properties page, enter the name for the role, ICD Cloud Administrator. Provide a short description. Here, I enter Cloud Administrator for ICD Development. There are no more inputs for the properties, so click Next. The list of selected roles shows the default roles configured in the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control for the Cloud Administrator. Because we are creating a role like the default EM Cloud Administrator, we keep the current selected roles. Click Next. There are several target privileges enabled by default for cloud administrators. Scroll through the list to see which privilege grants are in place. We make no changes. Click Next. The resource privileges appear. Scroll through the list to see all the resource privilege grants. The next step in the interface shows administrators that are assigned to this role. But because this is a new role and there are no administrators, click Review. The review page provides a detailed look at the new role. Scroll to examine all the details, then click Finish. The list of roles returns and a confirmation message lets you know the role has been successfully created. Next, create a user or administrator based on this role. To create a cloud administrator with the new custom role, start by navigating through the setup menu through Security to Administrators. The list of administrators or users appears. Click Create. The Properties page appears. Enter a name for the administrator. Here I enter ICD Cloud Admin. The reason I don't use the full word Administrator is that Oracle Enterprise Manager does not allow the same name to be used for a role and for an administrator. Provide a password and confirm it by entering the password again. Check the box or enable Expire Password Now. This forces the new administrator to change the password on the initial login. Click Next. The Roles page appears, and two roles are selected by default, EM User and Public. Leave these roles in place. Scroll the Available Roles list and locate the ICD Cloud Administrator role. Click the role on the list, then click the Move button to place the role on the list of selected roles. 
click Next. The target privileges are those enabled by all the selected roles. Because we do not want to change the target or resource privileges, click Review. When the Review page appears, click Finish. The Administrators list appears, displaying a confirmation message the ICD Cloud Admin Administrator has been successfully created. The ICD Cloud Admin Administrator also appears on the list of administrators. You have seen how to create a custom role like the default EM Cloud Administrator role, and you have seen how to use the role to create a user. In the following segment, you see a series of screen captures that present essential details for creating two more roles and users, the self-service administrator and the self-service user. Here is the properties interface for creating a self-service administrator based on the EM SSA administrator role using the Create Like feature. The custom administrator created is ICD SSA administrator. And as before, we make no changes to the roles and privileges for this custom administrator. After creating the custom role, create the administrator ICD SSA admin. The properties interface shows the name. The password has been set to expire, requiring a reset on initial login. The roles interface shows the EM user and public roles, which Oracle Enterprise Manager requires, and the custom ICD SSA administrator role. No additional changes are made to the privileges for the ICD SSA admin administrator. The last role and administrator, or user, is a self-service user based on the EM SSA user role, using the Create Like feature. The custom user created is ICD SSA user. No changes are made to the roles and privileges for this custom user. After creating the custom user role, create the user ICD user. The properties interface shows the name. The password has been set to expire, so the user is required to reset it on initial login. The roles interface shows only the ICD SSA user on the selected roles list. No additional changes are made to the privileges for the ICD user. You have seen the process to create a custom role from a default Oracle Enterprise Manager role, and you have seen the process to create an administrator using the custom role. You also saw essential details for creating the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control self-service administrator and self-service user. For more information on Oracle Enterprise Manager Control, see oracle.com slash enterprise manager. And for more information on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance, see oracle.com slash engineered systems slash private cloud appliance. This ends the presentation.